In a recent op-ed, former OpenAI board member Will Hurd recalls the first time he felt, quote, freaked out by a board briefing and realized the real power of artificial intelligence and the oversight it would need. He writes, quote, just like a company needs a permit to build a nuclear power plant or a parking lot, powerful AI models should need to obtain a permit, too. Joining us right now is former U.S. Congressman Will Hurd. Good morning to you. A lot Good of folks have been talking Pleasure about wanting to regulate tech for a long time, big tech, social media, and now AI. Uh, virtually none of it's actually happened in practice. Uh, some people say it's uh, because we don't have the technical know-how to do it. Some people say it's too complicated. Some say the technology is moving too fast. What do you say? I, I think I agree with all the above. However, it's something that we should uh, we should do. Um, I, I equate artificial intelligence, specifically artificial general intelligence, with nuclear fission. Right? Nuclear fission control gives you limitless uh, clean energy. Uncontrolled uh, nuclear fission gives you nuclear weapons. And I think uh, that's an equi equivalent analogy when it comes to artificial intelligence. And we should learn from the past. Uh, we have a $10 trillion cybersecurity industry, one that I was involved in, uh, because we didn't have product liability applied to, to software. Uh, we've seen and we know what's, what social media is doing, uh, leading um, young uh, teenage girls to increase self-harm. Um, we shouldn't allow that. Part of the reason was because we carved it out, the Communications and Decency Act. Let's not do that with AI. And to me, I think the first uh, some of the legislation we should do is very simple. Just make sure AI follows the law, follow existing laws. We have a lot of great laws uh, about civil liberties and, and civil rights and protecting people. Uh, let's make sure that these tools um, continue to do that. And so, what, what are the well? What are the laws though that you're worried right now that 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 AI is not complying with? Are we talking about privacy laws? Are we talking about copyright laws? And that's a huge component part of this. What what is the piece of it that you're you're, you're looking at specifically. I, I, I'm more concerned about the implementation of these tools to, to, to impact individuals. Let's say a bank starts using AI uh, to make decisions on how to give out loans. Um, I want to make sure that if the bank um, uses the tool incorrectly and they discriminate against somebody because of their color or their skin, uh, then that bank is liable. However, if the algorithm itself it, um, creates that bias, then developers of that of that algorithm uh, should be held accountable. So, so for and, me, and you don't believe that the law would 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 allow for that now? If, if we were to bring a lawsuit against a bank that did that, and then turn around and also bring a separate lawsuit against. Uh, open AI, if that was the, the underlying algorithm, I mean, whoever you think is developing the algorithm, sure. you don't think that they would, you don't think they'd be it, held it's, liable? It's, 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 it's unclear. And that's why you're seeing a patchwork um, set of laws that are happening at cities and at states in order to ensure uh, that type of thing um, it, it happens, right? Um, and so, so I also want to make sure that we see really powerful AI. And, and, and that term needs to be, be defined, um, that it goes through some kind of review. Like I said in the op-ed, um, if you and I wanted to create a parking lot, we would need to get a permit. Right. And so really powerful AI, uh, we need to make sure that a, an entity like NIST, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, um, is ensuring that that the ML, the, the machine learning models um, have been tested to ensure the outcomes that they say they're supposed to, uh, that, we're t that, that, that some of these algorithms have been red teamed, uh, that we're looking at the data that is being trained, the audibility of the programs. And so that's something that kind of review should be done quickly, right? And we should be established a standard um, of what that is. So if you're going to say, hey, Will, you like these shoes and I'm going to give you an algorithm to, to, to put, um, you know, increase my sales. I, I'm not concerned about that, but anything that is de about delivering uh, services to individuals, um, right. you know, like banking loans and such, we should have that review. Hey, well, let me ask you a different question, which is the AI industry, really led by Sam Altman, uh, arguably somebody you worked with, obviously, it's very unique in that it's uh, one of the few industries, and Sam's been very outspoken to say, please come regulate us. Uh, we need regulation. Very rare where sort of out of the gate a startup says, we've got a problem, this could be terrible for the world, come regulate us. My question to you is, is that genuine? Is that a sop to Washington and to the public with the expectation knowing that uh, Washington will never regulate and therefore uh, the company looks, looks good for raising these issues so if in fact there's a problem later they can say, look, I, I asked for this. What do you think is really happening here? 
Look, it's absolutely true. That is something that Sam believes. And I think that's one of the reasons that people view Sam Altman as the Albert Einstein of our of our generation, of our times. Um, I can tell you um, when my time on the board was that safety and making sure that these tools were going to better humanity was 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 a significant concern and and was the, the company and the board uh, a, a lot of the attention when it comes to that. So uh, this is, you know, I, I think uh, people always want to ascribe certain things to Sam, but he says what he believes. Um, and so the, this is it's not just Sam, it's the great company him and, and Greg Brockman have, have built and every person I interacted with um, in the company uh, believes in in developing these tools to, these tools the right way, and it's something that is is baked into the daily activities um, of of the company.